Okay, so in this demo, I'm going to show you guys how to use a real world map and use it in Unity. So um, there's a cool website called Terrain Party, and this literally has height maps from across the world. You can choose a destination from anywhere you like. I want to get an island, so I'm going to go to Kauai. And all I'm going to do is select the area. This is basically something that you can click and drag and move your, this is the area that it's going to generate the height map for. Um, if that's the area I want, I can reduce the diameter or the you know, size of the cube here. This isn't a diameter, it's just like the dimensions. So um, this is 57 kilometers here. So. Um, once I've chosen an area, all I'm going to do is click on this download button and it's going to ask me what I want to call this area. I've already downloaded this in my computer um, and in my downloads like right here, I have the Kauai terrain height map. Voila! So it saves like several different um, versions. So um, what you can do is like so unity uses a raw format not a png so what you can do is open this in photoshop export it as a raw file so i've opened this in photoshop right now over here but um i guess like the dimensions that i want to use here if you look at the image size this is not the correct image size so i'm just going to create i've already created a file and if i look at the image size here real fast it's 1024, 1024 resolution 72. And I just like dragged and dropped the image on top over here. And then I can just like take this from here also and just like bring it in here. Yes, so I can just do that, place it here. And once I have it here, I'll go to file. I'll click on export or actually save as and I'm gonna click on save on my computer. I am gonna go here and I'm gonna use a raw file here. I'm gonna call this QVA. How do you spell that again? It's um, Q A U I. No. Oh my god, my spelling's right now. AI. Here. So, yeah, that's it. Um. And then once you have that, what you're going to click is save. I usually make a few changes over here, like remove the P. And I think I tried this and that worked. I don't know. I mean, I, I would like to try this too. Like I did a couple of like, I tried a few different ways of like exporting this and this seemed to work. So I'm going to click OK. Again, I saved this on my desktop, so it brought it up here. So when I go to Unity and I create a terrain here and go to my settings, I'm going to check the resolution over here make sure this matches that and I'll click on import raw oh wait I have to drag and drop that in here oops so I'm just gonna put that here have that here I'm gonna import I'm gonna go to assets and let's see if this works keeping fingers crossed and mm, I'm gonna change this to that because I think it was like set at that so resolution one zero two four import and whoa the height is too much so we can adjust the height here going back to our terrain settings and in here we have our terrain height let's see if i do 200 and that is significantly better so now we have our terrain here if you see like weird divots like this, you can fix that. You can fix that in Photoshop or you can obviously like go to your paint height settings over here. Um, you know, 
raise or lower your terrain from here, or you can fix the image itself in um, uh, in Photoshop. So I feel like the height here needs to be lowered a little more. I would actually have to check the height of Kauai, like what it is in the real world in order to get like a sort of like an accurate depiction. Um, but anyway, you can see like the rivers and everything over here. Maybe it's like even a little lower. So let's see if we do 90. I don't know how high the mountains there are. But I mean, that's like all again, part of the research whenever you're working on your project. It's good to have all of that information. But there you go. That's Kauai. And here we have it. Now you can create basically an island. You can paint textures. I believe like there's a way to get um, the materials for it too, but um, but we can keep this for now. Um, I'd rather like paint them or you know generate them procedurally, but this is how you would basically get your raw file to work. Um, all right, thanks for watching, guys. Um, again, if you have any questions, you can always shoot me an email.